Hi guys and welcome to a very echoey reptile room. This is the empty room. The only things we have done in here, wow that's squeaky, is paint the roof, take up the carpet and take off the wallpaper and it has made a massive diff- wow I'm so sorry. It has made a massive difference so far. Now we do have a bit of a layout which I hope throughout this video you will see come together. When the carpet was in here we got some masking tape. We masked off where the tanks will go and where my desk will go. So over here will probably be the leopard gecko area. And then if we go over here, we're probably gonna get some sort of rack system to put Lyra and Drogo and potential future animals. You know, the insects will probably go here as well. We've got a radiator that we're going to replace. And we've just been marking off where all the plugs need to go and these are going to go high up but um the tanks are going to be like diego's tanks and they have hoods and so the plug should be behind that we won't see it when the tanks are in but it's going to be a big job also the electric in this house hasn't been updated since the 70s and it probably will need rewiring so we're gonna oh we're gonna get electrician in today to look at that this light is being replaced because it's too low it's old and I'm just, I'm not feeling it. It's been a while since I last updated, but basically we've had the electrics in. Obviously there's no sockets, but we basically found out our whole house needs rewiring. It's a death trap. Uh, to quote one electrician, it has been done so poorly that it has taken up ages and is still ongoing. Uh, but this is how everything is looking. It is very dirty in here. Another thing we've done is added a new light. There you go. I mean, you can't really tell in the video, but they're decent. Also, we got a new radiator, which makes things look so much better because the other one was so ugly. kind of blinding in here so we have put white on the walls we could probably do with another layer I think it's had three or four on already um prepping the walls putting filler in sanding down it's incredibly boring but now we're painting this white you can see how yellow the old doors are so we're gonna have to sort that out so behind the leopard gecko tanks and behind my desk we are going for dark ivy I think this will be a nice deep color but just add a little bit because right now it actually looks really nice and big because it's white but at the end of the day we need a little bit of color in here we've been working on getting the skirt boards done but for now these have finally been filled in so I am going to paint the future wall done it ended up taking probably three or four coats and we actually had to get a second tin one tin's meant to do 17 meters squared this is about six meters squared and uh, yeah we had to get a second tin which was a bit annoying another thing i've noticed as well i don't know if the camera will pick it up i've lightened it a bit but you hand mark anything that touches this goes really chalky I don't know how easy it is going to be to wash off, but that is quite annoying. Now all the walls are done, I've just added in our blackout blind, so it's just white. I thought it just goes with the rest of the room. Um, but obviously I keep reptiles, but some of them can't get too hot. And this room does get quite warm. So I don't think it'd be an issue in winter, but summer it would be, so I thought I'd get a blackout blind to kind of help. But all we're waiting for now is the flooring, which should be here tomorrow. So the floor is now done. It's just a wood effect vinyl. It's very echoey in here, which I hope once we add in, you know, tanks and a desk and the rack and everything, that goes away because I need to record in here. Um, but I'm really happy with how it's come out. And now on to adding furniture. So now we have the desk and the desk chair. <laughs> 
and I literally got this because it's actually quite inexpensive. I'll put a link below, it's from Amazon. And this little pillow here massages. <laughs> And we have the racks up. They do currently have canvases on that I need to sort out. But I'm thinking when we move in, obviously my upgrade tanks won't be here straight away. So I think we're going to put Gizmo Mini at the bottom, then Lyra and Drogo, then Feeder Insects. Um, and obviously Diego will be here. In theory, we could put Mini and Gizmo here as well. But once their upgrades come, we want to build them and get them ready as soon as possible. I have just... Well, I, I say I. My boyfriend and my dad have been really helpful moving the tanks. I have participated, but I'll be honest, I'm not much help. But it has been a struggle, it's been really stressful. I have done a whole video of moving geckos, what it's like. But, <laughs> this is a room now. Okay, so I managed to clear some things, mainly moving stuff to the side. Um, we have a really heavy piece of driftwood, which I just walked into. Uh, some cricket boxes, because I don't have crickets at the moment, I need to get crickets and waxworms. This is aquarium stuff, so that shouldn't be in here. Uh, we have some feeder insects here. Some stuff, we're going to hang up some stuff, I don't know if I'll film that, but I'll show you some bits and pieces I have for the room. And I have a ton of other reptile stuff there. So today I'm putting up photos and signs. My best friend actually got me this made, so it's awesome. I think I'm going to put it up above the pegboard and we're going to be using sort of command strips to do this. This is the first time I'm using them so hopefully they work. The next bit of artwork is a tribute to Ziggy. This was actually done by Howdy Draws on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram here and also her Deviant Art page so you can check out our other work. It's awesome. But this one was called sort of Ziggy Stardust and I thought it was so cool. I just wanted it in here. And I think we're going to have a, like a minor shrine to Ziggy in here. Because I've also got this canvas of Ziggy, which was gifted to me by Fur Baby Prints. I've worked with them before. I have a blanket made by them. I have a phone case. I absolutely love what they do to the photos. Um, it looks somewhat illustrated, but also still close to the actual image. And so, yeah, I have um, quite a bit of Ziggy to put up on the wall. We have a little boo boo with a command strip, though I don't think it's necessarily the command strip's fault. I think it's this paint by Wilco. I love the colour, but the way it performs is so bad like you just brush against it and it'll leave a mark um and three or four layers literally just peeled off so i need to fix that but we have got ziggy up on the wall we've got the reptile room side i've got my pegboard which i'll go through in a bit when i do the actual room tour but now let's have some before and afters and i want you to keep in mind that the afters so the way this room is right now it's not complete yet i have upgrades for the tanks I want to do, so much I want to do that you'll see in the upcoming months. So just keep that in mind, but yes, let's see what we've done. So yeah, this is the reptile room. It's still quite echoey actually, but uh, we'll get to that in a moment. First, we're gonna talk about this situation and Diego's tank. So obviously Diego's here, but he won't be staying right there. He'll be over here a little bit. And basically we don't have the upgrades at the moment, but we do have the plan. So there will be a six inch little platform for his tank to go on. Then there will be a spacer, which will replace the hood that he currently has. And then there will be a tank on top, which will be gizmos. And then she'll have a hood. And when it's like that, all of these should line up. For now, awkwardly, the uh, plug socket comes right here. So we couldn't put this where we wanted to. So it's a bit, bit, bit out there. But um, once that tower is here, then there will be a second one which has been occupied by water and insects at the moment. But um, yeah, this reptile room isn't completely done. We still have the leopard gecko upgrades. Now, if we look on this wall, I did end up putting shelves up because it was just a big blank white wall and I just needed something. So of course I have the YouTube plaque, which I am so grateful for. Like I know my channel's a niche channel. I don't ever expect to get to a million subscribers. That's the next plaque you get so the 100,000 subscriber plaque means so much to me so thank you for that I've also put Ziggy's picture up there I actually changed the frame so it would match a little bit we have a string of hearts plant a wandering dew plant and also hidden behind all of that are the ants 
But yeah, Liz and her colony are doing really well. They'll be hibernating soon, so they won't spend too much time here. But basically, I wanted an area for them where they couldn't be accidentally nudged or wobbled. So this shelf worked out really well, and the plants kind of shield them, so they have extra privacy. Then we have my little working area. So firstly, the pegboard. I'm obsessed with Ikea pegboards. And I've been watching videos of people, how they use them, with craft stuff, even growing plants on them. So I haven't properly organized mine yet. What I've been doing is, is anything's on my desk cluttering it up, I hang it up here. I also got two air plants for it, but I need to, I need to reorganize it. It doesn't look ideal. But one thing that's really handy on it is this paper towel. Ah, uh, it's such a necessity in a reptile room, so I'm happy I got that little bit. And obviously the reptile room sign and Ziggy. And then this print, which says, relax, there's always tomorrow. That actually came from paw print illustrations. Ages ago, I did an Etsy video for Christmas. Actually, it might be a good gift guide for this year, so maybe check it out. But they sent me so many prints, and I always wanted to save them for the reptile room, so I got this one. I actually have another frame to put here. I'm just waiting for the perfect picture to put in it. And I also have this little crested gecko that looks like a gremlin. Then we have my desk, which looks empty, but also cluttered. So basically, that's a TV. Um, that's my laptop. That's a TV screen. I don't know why it's ended up in here but basically I do want to get an actual computer so I guess that will represent the screen so I sort of know where to position stuff. Uh, I've got my label maker, the spare photo frame laser, temperature thermometer, uh, my microphone and everything, staplers. Actually that's a good point, let's talk about the microphone. So basically this is a microphone I've used for years and in this room I do, I, well I aim to do a lot of recording, however there is a bit of an echo. Now a lot of people get these phone panels, stick them to the walls, that kind of helps reduce that sort of echo, but I didn't want to stick stuff to the walls and then I found this sound guard which is by Nua. Now I've used a gimbal before, you can find them on Amazon, they're really great, like I love the gimbal and they really kindly sent me this sound guard. Now it's pretty hefty. But I don't have the pole yet, um, you can buy a pole separately and so I guess it's freestanding and you fit the microphone in there and everything so I haven't been able to do that yet but I, as I said I aim to do a lot of recording here so hopefully you'll notice a difference once I get this up. But this is the model and make if you're interested and thank you to Newer for sending it to me. Then I have this picture of Isla, and if you've been following me for a while, you know who Isla is. And um, I need to find a space for it, but it is a picture I cherish it very much. So there's not much to show you in the windowsill, but I do have this little propagation station <laughs> where basically I take a cutting from the tanks, put it in there, it sprouts out roots, and then I could replant it. Then we have the rack with Lyra on it. <laughs> so obviously we have Lyra, the Beatles, and Drogo. We also made that board. I can't remember if I said it in this video or the moving video, but I didn't want the sun coming in, so that board will block anything. We've also got tons of driftwood. Never let me buy driftwood or cork again, because I have tons of it. And the uh, fogging machine, I need to set that up. It's all been such a, like, oh, so stressful moving in places. There's so much I still need to do. And then below them, we have Gizmo and Mini. Obviously, this is a temporary setup because I want to put them in the upgrades. We also have isopods in here, which hopefully they're getting some new additions to that. We have to wait and see for that. And then this is my draw from home, family home. And thank God I brought it over because I have so many reptile supplies. Um, and that's pretty much the only storage I have in this room. So I hope you've enjoyed this like transformation. As I said, there's still so much to do. Um, I wanna like upgrade Drogo's tank to the same size as Lyra, so that will come out. And then that'll probably only happen once Gizmo and Mini have been upgraded so the Beatles can move down here. Um, there, you know, I'm not gonna get tons new pets. Like I like having a small amount. I mean, I still consider them a lot, but a small amount of animals. And in a way, like this room, I see lots of pet room tools, reptile room tools, and they're massive. This is nine meters squared, okay? So I'm still limited in a sense, but you know, if I kept with the, these size tanks, I could have loads. But my aim isn't to fill this room with loads of reptiles, it's to use that room to upgrade the space for the reptiles that I currently have, and maybe some new additions. So, of course I could fit in more reptiles if I kept the tank smaller, but, 
Yeah, I'm on my chair, it rotates. <laughs> I want to upgrade. Oh, and by the way, that drum is what I used to sit on to do all my videos and I probably will continue to do it. It's not even a seat, it's an actual drum. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, yep, see I'm rotating. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure you are subscribed. So when I do do these upgrades, you don't miss it. Is that my top? That is my top. Okay, thank you for watching guys and goodbye.